hi welcome to this amazing excel video tutorial recently on my linkedin facebook and some microsoft excel linkedin groups i emphasize that formulas are the engine room of the microsoft excel technology because with formulas we can perform calculation data manipulation evaluation of test conditions and much more now on the surface we can perform basic formulas and progressively move towards some really cool advanced formulas and sometimes we combine or nest functions which are many programs built into excel to perform some special operation that a simple formula is unable to process now the combining or nesting of the several functions clearly opens a new world of endless opportunities as far as data analysis is concerned with excel now with the arrival of some new functions particularly the dynamic array family functions the let function h stack v stack take drop to mention a few further strengthen the position of excel as the go-to and the widely used productivity tool in the business world so as i promise you i'm going to continue in the series of single cell formula to perform some really special operation so without much talking let's dive in now this video is going to be continuation of the previous video i released a few days ago so i'm going to encourage you to watch the video and build upon it because we're going to perform something similar and of course we're going to perform even something more special now let's make sense of what we intend to achieve in this video now the first thing we want to do is of course we have all these sales data sets okay we can see sales 2015 16 to 2019 all right now all the data sets are officially stored in an excel table and of course i have given sales 2015 16 17 18 19 as the meaningful table names now another thing that is noticeable in our data set is that the total row is turned on in the table design contextual ribbon tab of the table styles options group so you can see that here now this is very essential because by the time we perform the append create the subtotals grand total and percentage of grant of subtotals and of course the percentage of grand total we need this total row as part of the formula so let's see how to achieve this outcome so i'm going to come to the calc sheet and of course i want to write the formula in cell a2 now in order to make the formula easy to follow along and readable i'm going to write it in the formula bar and of course i'm going to indent the formula so that we can understand each lines of code we are not going to use the usual linear way of writing the formula so we're going to indent the formula i want to make sense of it so i'm going to come to the formula bar now it's going to make sense to expand the formula bar now to expand the formula bar just ctrl shift you expand it okay let me just expand it further all right now let's build the formula from the scratch so i'm going to type in this tag now the VStack requires the input value for array one. Now, for the array one, don't forget all our data sets are officially stored in an Excel table. And of course, we can call the table using the structure references syntax. So I'm going to call the first data in the sales 2015 table. I'm going to type in sales 2015 so I can see the table name. I press the tab key to grab that. Put in a comma now for the array tool of the vstack function i'm going to join the h stack function and of course let's just indent the formula as i promised alt enter all right let's continue now the array one of the h stack function i'm going to type in double quote total sales close the double quote comma now the total sales will be dumped in column a now in column b which is equivalent to array two column c equivalent to array three column d equivalent to array four now for the array two and three i want nothing now not this place i'm going to put double quote with space in between close put in a comma double quote with space in between put in a comma now for the array four 
I'm going to use the sum aggregate function. So I'm going to type in sum. Now, the sum requires the number one, which is the compulsory argument. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to access this table. I'm going to type in C2015 and I'm going to I want to access the total column, so I'm going to open a square bracket and I can just type in T and that narrows the whole thing down to T, press the tab key, close the square bracket, close the sum function, close the edge stack, okay? Now, when you click on this, the array one, you can see the IntelliSense that is available in the Microsoft Excel M365, which is amazing. Okay, so when I click on this array tool, I can see what's going to be delivering. That's cool. Now, I'm going to put in a comma. So I'm going to just make the formula to be fast. I'm going to copy this and come after the comma. I'm going to Alt Enter to jump to the next line. I'm going to Control V, Alt Enter, Control V, Alt Enter, Control V, Alt Enter, Control V. All right, let me just move this down here. Now, this is going to be for 2015. Now, for 2016, I'm going to just tweak this formula and just replace the 5 with 6. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to replace the 5 with 6. Sorry, with 6. Now, for this, I'm going to replace with 7. I'm going to replace this with 7. And it's going to be 8. And it's going to be 8. Now, and finally, for now, it's going to be 2019. And it's going to be 2019. All right. Now... So we are done for now with the append and of course the supporters. Now we want to undo the grand total. Now I'm going to come here and alt enter. Again, I'm going to use the h stack function. Now the h stack function again, I need to provide array one. Now for the array one, I'm going to insert double quotes, type in grand total, close the double quote, comma. Now for the array two, I want just like we did here double quote with space in between double quote with space in between and then for the array four i'm going to use the sum aggregate function now i'm going to come in and just copy this Control c Control v comma Control v comma i think we need it about five times okay so i'm going to replace this with six and it's going to be 2017 2018 now i made a mistake i need to put it okay I think everything is fine and okay this is going to be 2019 let's go through it this is number one two three four five and uh, that's fine okay so i'm going to close the sum function and of course i'm going to close the h stack for now now i'm going to alt enter and let's close the v stack formula Okay, now when I control enter, see what happens. Let's call out the formula bar for now. Okay, ah, amazing. It clearly append all the data from 2015 to 2019. And of course, we can even see the total. And amazing, we can even see what is called advanced conditional formatting. That is super cool. Let's scroll down. You can see this the subtotal for the 2016 data. And when you scroll down, we can see the subtotal for the 2017. And when you scroll, scroll down, you can see the subtotal for the 2019. And of course, we have the grand total, all right? Now, the grand total is 2,955,216. Now, I'm going to go back to the formula bar. I mean, the formula, where the formula starts from A2. Now, let's continue the formula bar. Control shift u to expand the formula now we are done with the first part of the formula we have taken care of the append subtotals and grand total now the amazing part of this formula is how do we tweak the formula to write or to create the percentage of subtotals and percentage of grand total now that's very easy now i'm going to come here i'm going to use the amazing light function Press the tab key and let's indent this formula bar, this formula and i need name i'm just going to call this one um, let's call it total total uh put in a comma now let's indent the formula again like i can see so we have what's called a name which is this 
and then we assigned all this bunch of formula into the name one now i'm going to put in a comma now don't forget we have to follow this guide so we have to provide the name to let's alt enter to jump to the next line now i'm going to call the other one total percentage i can call it whatever i want that's fine I'll put in a comma now we need to assign value to the name to now let alt enter next line and then i'm going to type in the this tag function now in the this tag function i'm going to take the sales 2015 and i want to access the total column press the tab key close the square bracket then i want to divide by sales 2015 open the square bracket twice and i want to access this total at the bottom the totals press the tab key close the square bracket put in a comma open the second one then i want to access this total column press the tab key close the square bracket twice that is super amazing. Now, I understand this can be difficult for as many of us that are not familiar with the structured references syntax in Excel. But if you are very familiar with the structured reference syntax in Excel and you are very good at it, I'm sure this syntax is easy for you to understand. So I'm going to put in a comma. Now, for the array tool, just like you know we did it i'm going to use the h stack function now inside the h stack i'm going to use the sum function now i'm going to grab this control c and i'm going to come here and paste here then i can close the sum close the h tag and then now let's indent this formula alt enter so that we can follow along easily so i'm going to put in a comma now you can see this is the array one and this is the array two amazing so I'm going to copy all this block of code, control C, and I'll come here, alt enter, control V, alt enter, control V, alt enter, control V, alt enter, control V. Now, this is going to be for 2015, this long formula. Now, I'm going to change this to 16, and I'm going to change this carefully to 16, and I come here, this is going to be 2016, and this is going to be 2016. Okay, so let's deal with the 2017, all right? It's gonna be 2017, and it's gonna be sales 2017 and 2017. All right, so for 2018, I'm gonna replace the five with eight, and I come here carefully, I replace with eight. All right, now, finally, for now, let's deal with the 2019. 2019, 2019, and um, 2019. All right, so now let's, you know, expand the formula bar further. Now you can see this is quite an amazing formula. It is so, so wide, so long. Anyway, so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna get rid of this and I can do Alt, Enter, I can close the vista here okay so when i close the vista you can see we have the red parenthesis closing parenthesis and red open parenthesis here and then i'm going to put in a comma now okay, you can see we, we're actually in the let we are back in the let all right so i'm going to alt enter again now for my calculation don't forget we have name one and we assign all this bunch of value to name one we have name two and we assign all this bunch of value to name two now for my calculation i'm going to use the age stack function okay let's indent h stack function open parentheses now i'm going to now stack the total and the total percentage so that's going to be i'm going to call this total and put in a comma and for the array two let me just copy this come oops let me just come here and copy and i can control v now i can close this h stack alt enter and then i can close the let formula now let's go through this amazing long formula that probably many of us have never seen before now we started off by calling the sales 2015 entire table and then we use the h stack function and then we dump total sales in the column a 
we dump nothing, nothing in column B and C respectively. And then we use the sum function to aggregate the entire numeric value in the total column of the sales 2015 table. And of course, we repeated the same thing for the 2016 to 2019. All right, straightforward. And then we use another H stack function. Now, inside the H stack function, we dump grand total in column A. We dump nothing in columns B and C, respectively. And then in columns D, under the total year, we use the sum function and we aggregated the totals of the 2015. 16, 17, 18, and 19 tables. And then we defined yet another name inside a let, put in a comma, and then we assign this block of code. Now, what this block of code is doing inside the H stack is that we call the 2015 table, and of course, we call the total column, and we divide by the 2015 totals that is the total row this is total rows and then we put in a comma of the total column and then we now put in a comma we use h stack function and then we aggregate the the same thing we did here we just use them inside the sum function and we repeated the same thing for the 2016 17 18 and 19 respectively and um, finally and um, for our let for our calculation here, we use the h stack function to append, I um, mean, to stack the total and the percentage of total in order of execution. You can see we executed this first, and then we now executed this second. So this one comes first, and this one comes next, and then we close the brackets for the let formula. Now this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna tell. That is amazing. So we can see we have the data appended and the subtotals and the percentage of subtotals. You can see this is 100% of percentage of subtotals. That is amazing. And when you check for 2016, we can see the total sales and the percentage of subtotals that is quite amazing now when you come down here you can see everything is working pretty fine now the last thing we can do here is to probably use the if any function we can even use the sum function to even total all this 100 100 but let's just undo the stuff using the if any so i'm going to come to the top cell here double click or I'm going to um, come in the formula bar, control shift to you, and I'm going to wrap everything inside if any function, the tab key. Now, this is going to be the value, and then I can alt, enter, I can close the if uh, any. Uh, so, if there's any, I'm going to put nothing, all right? Nothing simply means double quote with nothing in between. Now, I can control enter and collapse the formula bar, and I'm going to go down here you can see we have no any error so this is quite amazing now i'm going to come to the sales 2015 data now let's just add this for records so i'm going to just um add some new rows so i'm going to grab this oops let me let me just cut the whole thing i'm going to come here and um Control V to paste. Now you can see that the total row is updated. That is amazing. Now when I come to the talk, you can see the newly added data around here. That is quite amazing. And we have the same eight fourteen thousand ninety five pounds as the total. That is quite amazing. And of course, our advanced conditional formatting also update dynamically i'm surprised how did i do this but in a future video i'm going to show you how to you know, do this in your formulas now so we've been able to see how to append create subtotals grand total percentage of subtotals and percentage of grand total this is quite amazing now in the past this is completely impossible to do in excel without using power query i hope you enjoyed this video if you do 
please like comment share and subscribe to this channel because the best is yet to come thank you and bye for now